Magandang gabi mga kapuso. Tonight we are going to have an interview with Mayor-elect Tommy Osmeño of Cebu. Meron pala kayong parang inunahan niyo pa yata si Duterte. Yung vigilante ninyo, mga vigilante kayo, totoo ba yun? Because that is what is reported in the UN uh, Human Human Rights Watch or something yeah. that you had a, a vigilante squad in Cebu that used to kill criminals. I don't have a vigilante squad. Okay. I do not order the police to shoot anyone. Okay. But you have to understand the background here. Many policemen are scared to move because if they will shoot someone, if they will fire their gun, even if it's in the middle of a bank robbery, you have to undergo an investigation. Yeah. Hmm? Mm. And then you have to pay for your own lawyer. Oh. That's so they said if you shoot somebody, you have 50,000. What kama takot yan? Timo na. Ang sinabi nyo sa mga police nyo raw, basta naka, nakabaril kayo, nakapatay kayo. Hmm. Nakapatay kayo hmm. ng drug lord bibigyan ko kayo ng 50,000. Oh, what does that mean? That means you don't believe in the law. No, I believe I in the law. Oh, what's I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just playing right up to the very limit of what I can do. Oh. Hmm? Kasi Cebu, from the year 2010 to 2015, we have the highest murder rate in the Philippines. Yes, I saw that. The highest. I said, why are we the ones being murdered? You know, in the line of duty, or it does yeah. not matter. Basta, bak, basta, basta in the line of duty. It has to be legal. Ah, it has to be legal. Of course. Well, how are you going to encourage a policeman to shoot a drug lord, and then he must make sure it's legal? How how does that work? No, no, I don't. I don't instruct the police to shoot a drug lord. Oh. But they said if they end up shooting somebody, uh -uh. Huh, you get fifty thousand from me. Okay. There is a very thin line there. Mm -hmm. It is a thin line. Yes. I'm pushing the envelope. Uh -uh. I'm, I'm really walking right on the edge of the cliff. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I'm like walking on a tight wire. Uh -uh. But I'm using my power and influence to protect the people of Cebu City. Because no one is protecting them. Because they are being murdered. We're number four in theft. We're number one in murder. I'm not going to take it sitting down. So. All these hypothetical situations, that doesn't ma matter with me. I when you were to... mayor before 2010, mm -hmm. that was not the record of Cebu? Cebu was not number one in, mayor, in, in murder? No way. Okay. No way. People know that. That was a major issue in this campaign. Mayroon pa kayong sinabi eh. Sabi nyo eh, pag, pagpasok nyo sa City Hall eh, mag-ethnic cleansing kayo. Ano <laughs> metaphor, you know, Met <laughs> it is just, it is figures. People you know, took you seriously. I'll tell, I'll tell you something. Mm. It's very important for the criminal elements to feel that way. That's why I'm walking right on the line. They feel that they're really going to get shot. And I want them to feel that way. Many now are now leaving Cebu. Right now, they're leaving Cebu. They lie low. Now, it turns out, the other day, the number three drug lord in Cebu was shot. He was machine gun, but he was killed in Bohol. And she primarily warned John because he's one of the top drug lords here in the city. So? So what's the message to the others? You know, wag muna, laylo muna tayo. Good. Good. You know, I will not compromise the safety of... Yeah, but why do you feel that you have to cleanse... City Hall. There are hundreds of people there who have no job except to campaign for Mike Rama. Okay. We just fired to 700 today. Mm -mm. 2,000 of them, job orders. We're spending, I don't know, 300,000 a day just for the spots that's being fired now. Nagbabalik bilang Cebu City Mayor si Tomas Osmeña ng Liberal Party, makaraang manalo laban sa incumbent mayor na si Michael Rama ng United Nationalist Alliance, uuna. Nasungkit ni Osmeña ang pwesto sa lamang na 33,950 na boto mula kay Rama. 
Labing anim na taong nagsilbing mayor ng Cebu City si Osmeña. Apo ni dating Pangulong Sergio Osmeña. Dalawang termino siyang naging alkalde mula 1987 hanggang 1995. Pero noong 2001, muli siyang naluklok bilang mayor ng lungsod. Matapos ang kanyang ikatlong termino sa pwesto noong 2010, tumakbo at nanalo naman siyang second district representative ng Cebu. Para sa mga Cebuano, epektibo ba namang alkalde si Osmeña ng kanilang lungsod? He knows how to manage the city kasi yun, yun talaga. Hinanap namin yung medyo stricto siya pero at least, at least ba? Para may takot yung mga tao na gumawa ng mga krimen. May man siya. Kan SRP yaman na. Mga pasalig niya nga hindi wala wala na nagawa. Yun siguro parang para wala sa kanya yung baha. Hindi niya interesado yung ano sa baha. Bawal yung mga demolition na yan. At least marami siyang natulungan mga may hirap na kagaya namin noon. Pero sa kanyang muling pagtakbo bilang mayor noong 2013, Natalo siya ng dating kapartido at vice mayor na si Michael Rama. Tatlong terminong naging councilor ng lungsod si Rama mula 1992 bago naging busy alkalde ni Osmeña mula 2001 hanggang 2010. Tumakbo at nanalo siyang mayor noong 2010 at natalo lang ngayong taon para sa kanyang ikatlo at huling termino. Pero hindi pa raw tapos ang boxing dahil nagsampa ng election protest si Rama sa Comelec. We have the overwhelming numbers plus seven surveys and even including informal and another one, the surveys. Never was any threat, especially on the mayorship. And it was just appalling and it really ended up being described as statistically improbable. Ang mainit na tunggalian sa politika ng dating magkaalyado, hihimayin sa pagpapatuloy ng panayam ni Maring Winnie kay Cebu City Mayor-elect Tomas Osmeña. Your wife right now is mayor or acting mayor of Cebu. Paano nangyari yun? E ganito, no? The mayor who was my opponent, si Mike Rama and his vice mayor, were suspended because they used calamity funds as Christmas bonus. <laughs> so, so Sino ang nagsuspendi sa kanila? Yung presidente po. Uh -oh. When the decision was made, it was already the election period. They went into this whole script to the extent having myself suspended for doing right. And it was in the newspaper editorial. Mayor Michael Rama suspended by doing right. Even friends of mine in Manila, senators were surprised. How come? How did you get into this trouble? I said, I'm a liberal, and they are a liberal, and I'm an una. Pag-usapan natin yan. Why was he with you for nine years as your vice mayor? Hindi pa malaki yung ulo niya. Hindi niyo ba nakita yung kanyang mga weaknesses nung siya ay inyong vice mayor? Yes. But you supported him for the mayorship in 2010? It was, a, it was a commitment, you know, and I supported him because he was the next in line in the group. Okay. And I presume, I presume that, uh, you know, he would have the whole team with him. Uh -huh. No, after he got elected, he broke off. By the whole team, anong ibig niyo sabihin yung, yung BOPK? Yes, yung he, thought, he thought most of the councillors would follow him. Uh -huh. They did not, no. He was able to get a few to go with him. Was that the time na yung mga barangay captains, mga 68 barangay captains, asked you to get Margot as your as the mayor, your wife? That was no. before the elections. They asked me, did you change him? Uh -uh. I said, walang ganyan na, no. He's been there. We should give him a chance. No? I, you had already chosen him. And they, then passed the... two, they passed two pe uh, petitions to uh -uh. change him. Uh -uh. Uh, it's not 68. It's about... It's a lot. No? Okay. It was a lot. And, and many did sign because I told them not to sign. The others signed. We were politically just, we call it allies, even from 1992. I was a part of the local team that he headed. 
and we parted ways in the year 2011. Back. After, you know, it's, I don't want to go back, but there was reason, and some of those who were with him ended up with me, and we formed Team Rama. You have been unlucky with your vice mayors. It's not you know, Alvin Mark Garcia left you after you know after he tasted the mayorship and then Michael Rama I think that's that's human nature. That's human nature. You know, once they get there, you know, people think just because you get elected to a higher position they think their IQ doubled, no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding because it's a very strong ego trip. Even the first time I became mayor, oh. you know, people call me Your Excellency. I said, what? Why well, you call me Excellency? I'm not the king. No, Your Excellency. I said, no. don't call me Your Excellency. Said, okay. So it's, it's a very strong, it's, it's like you're taking drugs. You okay. go on a high. So, ang nakakaiba kasi sa inyo, ayan, hindi nyo ginawa, ginamit ang three terms nyo with uh, with Alvin Alvin. Garcia pero nung at saka with with um, Michael Rama I you got a, three terms I got but three you terms. gave it to him instead of to your wife ganun ba yon tapos tumakbo yata yung kapatid niyo eh yeah oo oh, oh. ah, pa paano yon yung 2010 you know may nagbigay kayo ng bendisyon kay Michael Rama tumakbo Tapos, tumakbo yung kapatid nyo. Mm. Okay. Al- sino ang sinuportan nyo? I supported my grandma. My because grandma. You, it's, not, it's not technically I supported him, but what supporting was my group. Uh-huh. I said, you know, when, when you run a city, you cannot run it alone. You need a team with you. You have only have one body. Mm-hmm. So everybody was in place already. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I'm one chief executive that gives executive powers to the members of the council. Because most councillors, they just meet once a week and then they go home. So I give each one of them executive powers and they choose. I don't choose, I let them which one do you want. As long as you can handle it, okay lang yan. So it, you are really a team. O paano napasok yung kapatid nyo si, uh, si Georgia? Because you thought she's entitled. Because it has to be in Osmania. I said, no, sorry. Ayan, ayan ang kinakaibahan nyo mm. sa mga ibang mga dinastiya. Mm. Sinabi nyo sa kapatid nyo, imagine you supported Mike Rama ag- against Georgia. And now what happened? Now, na- now that Mike Rama you know, is against you, ay papano, do you think that you should have supported Georgia after all? No. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not the way to do it, you know. Uh-huh. Siempre in hindsight said, I wish I could have done it this way, but that's not the proper thing to do. Okay. Mm. So Maybe I should have chosen somebody else from the team. Okay. So, so in 2013, mm-hmm. you know, Mike Rama was already uh, mayor for one term. You ran against him. Mm-hmm. Bakit kayo tumakbo against him? Was there, a re- was there a kind of arrangement between the two of you that you will give him three years? and you will come no, back? No, I had no plans of coming back. Oh, uh, why, but why did you run against him? Because of the anomalies being involved. Marami na. It was getting out of control. Uh, can you, can you, pwede ba kayong magbigay ng, ng halimbawa ng mga anomalies? Ay, naku, I don't even know, I don't even know where to start. But just let me just give you, just give you an idea. Mm. Ang commission on audit, no? Uh. Nagbigay silang rating sa Cebu City government. Just the lowest rating, which is adverse, adverse, oh. adverse rating. Binigay si nila sa Cebu City. Five years straight. The Cebu City residents uh, did not did not vote you in. You lost by 3,000 votes, I 5, think. 5,000 votes, All yeah. right. But then this year, you won by how many? 34,000. 34,000 votes. Mm-hmm. Is it possible that you are now going to have an Osmania vice mayor, then mayor, then vice mayor, then vice mayor from I now on? I don't look for You know, that's an insult to the people. You know, that's really an insult. Oh, I, I like that statement. You know, it's really an insult. Ako lang pwede? Oo. You know, that's not good. The country has no future. You know, it's just like, it's just like this, okay? I have a very strong philosophy. 
the job if you're the if you're the father of the city you're the father of everybody okay and what is what's the responsibility of a parent the responsibility of the parent is to teach your child everything that you know so that they will not need you anymore that's the way you look at it so you design your own obsolescence so you, so you can take over i don't want i don't like the job i just like cebu <laughs> but the job is terrible you know It's just like it's just like Duterte, you know. He doesn't really like the job, you know. He just likes to get something done, and that's the way he thinks. That's why he doesn't care about the protocol. I understand him completely.